Okay, how red do my eyes look? <laughs> I just had like a weird sneezing fit right before shooting this video, so like my makeup is all totally done and ready to go. And then I sneeze a whole bunch. Hello and welcome back to my Tuesday review videos. This week we're going to be taking a look at this product right here. What is this you might ask? This is the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer with SPF 47. So before I tell you the story behind why I bought this, because this seems like a super random purchase to me, right? Uh, I'm going to take you through it on the website. Now in typical Josie Marin fashion, the description of this product is super long, so we're just going to kind of skim through it, okay? So this is the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer with SPF 47, I already said that. Uh, on the online it says it retails for $45 for some reason I thought it retailed for $47 Canadian uh, but I mean around there I guess what it is a new and improved hydrating fast absorbing non-greasy argan oil infused daily moisturizer featuring all natural sunscreens green tea and innovative sun boost ATB what it is formulated to do this all natural chemical free lightweight sunscreen moisturizes the skin with a non-greasy texture it features skin loving ingredients such as green tea titanium dioxide zinc oxide and innovative sun boost atb resulting in a powerful sun protection the product includes all the benefits you'd expect from an argan infused daily moisturizer skin nourishing texture smoothing and radiance boosting ultimate protection plus beautifying benefits true bliss and then for how to use it just says warm the sunscreen in your hands and apply it to face Pressing and working the formula into the skin until it totally disappears. Apply under foundation as a multitasking makeup primer. So I don't know if this is true. I don't have the science to back this up. But everywhere we went when we went to New Zealand, I'm from Niagara in Canada, but when I traveled to New Zealand recently, everyone there tells you that it is the worst sun on the planet. That you can get a, a burn on your skin within seven minutes. And I had kind of read doing things similar to that online. I'm sure there are other places that are just as bad, if not worse. But that's what they tell you there, and that's what I read online. So I wanted a really good face moisturizer to bring with me. The moisturizer that I typically use is a Neutrogena one that you can put on your face, uh, and I typically use it on my whole body, to be honest, because I bought it at a big bottle. But I, I really felt like I wanted something that was a little bit nicer, a little more, a little more, you know? Like something that I felt like would work really well as a moisturizer as well because I was going to a wedding and also Hobbiton was very important to me during these two weeks that we were there. So I decided, even though I did not have the money, to splurge on this very nice Josie Marin sunscreen because typically I really like Josie Marin's products. I reviewed the foundation and I didn't like it, but I feel like I need to look at it again because I feel like I would like it now. So, much to my bank account chagrin, I went to Sephora and I randomly purchased this. I have to tell you that this saved my skin while I was gone, but it also saves my skin here. Because here in Niagara right now it is winter and it is so dry and cold in the winter that in the past, like if I'm not wearing a good moisturizer, my skin is cracking and peeling and falling out of my face. This has enough moisture in it that I feel like it keeps my skin plump and hydrated all day without really affecting my makeup wear and without like being too glowy. Like there are some moisturizers and sometimes I'll go for like a glowy look. But other than that, like I just want it to be like radiant and hydrating in a natural way without it being like I'm wearing max strobe cream all over my face, you know? So I found that this one does great here. And then I brought it to New Zealand and now it is, I believe, a glass bottle. So I, did, I really, really packaged it well in my suitcase. But we get there and the particular day that this worked out really well was we went, uh, sailing on a like a sailboat in Akaroa so you're on the water you're really in the sun and I had this all over my face and my chest now I made the mistake that day of wearing my hair back I had my stepsister put my hair into French braids so by the end of the day I had worn the Neutrogena sunscreen on the rest of my body and I was a little pink I was not burnt but I was a little pink and I hadn't reapplied or anything my chest and my face were completely not even touched by the sun. Like, there was no pink, there was no tan, there was nothing. They were perfectly fine. My scalp, up by the top, where I didn't put sunscreen because I forgot that I was wearing my hair back, was absolutely lobster red. Like, I have never had a sunburn that bad on my scalp. And it, it did not bubble and it did not peel or really anything, anything like that. You know, it sort of flaked away as dandruff, but it was so red. So imagine... I had a lesser sunscreen on my face. Imagine the burn I would have had. Now, like I said, the Neutrogena one that I usually wear is obviously a fraction of the price, and I did not burn really with it on. I like a little pink, but that's it. But just think, I wore this on my face, no nothing else, I didn't wear makeup or anything, all day from like nine in the morning to like four in the afternoon, and we were out in the sun for most of that, and I never reapplied 
and I was still completely fine after that. My pasty, friable skin was fine after that. So to me, that tells me that the sunscreen in this is extra fantastic, and it doesn't have that sort of thick, weird sunscreen texture, and it doesn't have the sunscreen smell, even though I like the sunscreen smell, it doesn't have that. It smells a little more like, I can't put my finger on what kind, but it smells a little bit to me like a smoothie of sorts. Like it reminds me, I smell it and it reminds me of going to Booster Juice. So the super powered sunscreen that you get in here, coupled with the fact that I like the finish of it, and I like how fast it absorbs and how well it actually feels like it moisturizes my skin rather than just being a thick layer that sits on top. I would have to say, oh, I don't know that I think this is worth $45, but if you're in a climate or a situation where you really need the sun protection, I think this is great for that. So I, at first I was a little bit like regretful that I bought this because I was like, man, that's like $45 that I could have spent on literally anything else. But now I'm so happy I had it because I would have not enjoyed doing all these things these past two weeks with a burnt face. So I'm so happy I have this. Definitely worth the $45. And when I run out of this, if I end up with the money again, I will buy it. I'm not saying I will never rebuy it, but I'm saying I need to be able to rationalize the expense. I rationalized the expense this time because I was going to New Zealand and I need to protect, protect my skin. If I can make a rationalization like that again in the future, I will totally buy it. Does that make sense? So all in all, I really do like this face moisturizer by Josie Marin. I think it's a little expensive. I think all of her products are a little expensive, but it is a really nice moisturizer and I thank it for saving my face in New Zealand. By the end of the trip, like, I still have so much of this left, thank heavens, but I, it got to a point where I was like using this on my face and then I'd use it on my face and my chest and then I'd use it on my face, my chest, my shoulders. Like, by the if I had been there a week longer, it would have been all over my body and I would have just wasted the whole bottle. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> And anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And I'll see you next time. Bye!